Cashman, we back with another day in the life of Casper, man. We already getting active, if y'all can't tell. This is the continuation of the last vlog. I just picked the camera up and started a whole new video. But in today's video, we got a couple of uh, clothing brands we gotta take a shoot for. I'll be taking some pictures for these clothes y'all see on my body. Also, I'm finna get me a lineup. Uh, today is my dad's birthday, so we're gonna push up on my dad and help celebrate his birthday and stuff like that. And we got a couple of different things we gotta take care of. We just gonna see where the day takes us. Everybody gonna come with me along this journey like y'all always do. Y'all know how these day in the life of Caspers get. Sometimes it could be really interesting. Sometimes it could be a learning experience. You never know what you gonna get in the day in the life of Casper. That's why you just gotta watch and stay tuned. But currently, this lineup is the the current objective. So by the time y'all watch the next clip, we'll be sitting in the barber chair. And then by the time you watch the clip after that, we'll be leaving to go to my dad's birthday. I don't know exactly where all the day is going to take us because it's a lot of stuff going on today. Uh, Mar got an event going on tonight, like a little YouTube event. I might scroll through there and get some content. And linking up with my dad already be an activity within itself because when you link up with him, you never know what you're going to do. You might end up drinking. You, you never know, bro. My dad's a really, he's a really interesting character. He's not your average white man, but if you've seen my past vlogs and y'all know what my dad looked like or anything about my background or my history, you should already know my dad ain't a regular white man. But I'm done with the yap session, man. I will catch up with y'all folks in a second. Alright, so we is in the chair right now. Finna get cut by a drip. No cap, no kids. I'm also exporting my video and I'm finna upload the video. So if you watching this right now, this same video that you watching is being made today well nah it'll be yesterday when y'all see this because it'll be sunday but i recorded two vlogs in one day y'all i ain't do a double upload but i did a double recording stupid ass but yeah we're gonna get lined up finna get all this shit situated man drip finna put me back in the game for uh the holiday gotta get that that christmas special if y'all folks uh going to family events or whatever you doing go get, go get you a haircut twin oh, god i know you need one you watching my vlog right now with no haircut go get one twin but yeah, man, I can't go to a family events, Christmas, holiday, none of that shit looking like a bum. I got a standard to upkeep because these folks be got down. They, my family used to try me like I'm a fucking delinquent. So I try to make sure every family event I go to now, I look like I got I got that shit on. I got some onions. But yeah, catch up with everybody uh, with the final products. I see, see y'all in a second. All right, y'all, we was back to the vlog, man. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all see it. Y'all know Drip do the right thing every time, man. It's one of the only people... I trust in Atlanta. I don't know who y'all go to, but you know, come, come fuck my boy Drip, man. Drip the barber on Instagram. We finna head out though. Finna go get my little sister. Well, really, we not finna get my little sister because I called her uh, a black truck. So they finna go pick her up and shit like that. But what I was gonna say, I'm trying to figure out what I gotta go do. Oh yeah, we finna go drop these PO packages off at the house. And then after I drop my PO packages off at the house, we gotta uh, pull up on my dad for his birthday. But we not getting my little sister no more because, like I said, uh, we call her a little black truck, so she is no longer my responsibility. She just need to make sure she get her ass in that car on time. And, yeah, that, that really about it. Shit, just make sure you get your ass in that car on time if you're watching this vlog, little nigga. Ugh. But, yeah, we got to go drop off all of these packages because I don't want all these PO packages that y'all sent me just sitting inside my car while we sitting at Bolero because the Bolero I be going to, they be breaking into people's cars over there. And I'm fairly certain they're breaking into people's cars everywhere. It don't matter what Bolero you go to. So with that being said, I don't want a big trash bag sitting inside this fishbowl rental full of clothes just giving a nigga a reason to crack my window open. So... First destination is El Crib. Second destination is uh Dad's birthday. But we gotta wait outside for Marmar to pull up in the black truck because we can't go inside and start the bowling event without Marley because they start the time as soon as everybody get there. So basically, if we walk in without Marmar and it take Marmar like an hour or 30 minutes to get to the bowling spot, it might be too late for her to bowl. So we just gonna wait for her to get there and shit. My bad, y'all. I know y'all was probably irritated as fuck because my seatbelt was just beeping like a motherfucker in the background. Sometimes I be forgetting to put that bitch on when I first get in the car. So I ain't gonna lie. I showed y'all the city during the daytime plenty of times, but the nighttime view of the city, that that's really what people pay for. Hey, they, they pay for that nighttime view, y'all. At, at night, boy, the city look like you in, I don't know. 
almost give me like a New York feel or something. I don't know what you would give our city like equivalent to. I, man, Atlanta is its own place. Y'all know that though. But like I said, pick up the camera when we get inside the crib and I get to lay all these PO packages down on the ground. No cap. So niggas pay for luxury apartments for PP on the floor? I damn. Alright, so we got a little bit of time while my little sister and the Tesla say she not gonna arrive till 7.23. And currently uh it is like 6.40, 6.50. So I got a little bit of time to come to the crib, drop off my PO packages, and take me a little break. You feel me? But with that being said, give me one second, cause uh I think I'm able to open one of these packages because one of these people paid me for a promo. I gotta look through the names on the packages, but we gonna see. Hold up. All right, y'all boys, so first things first, man. <sighs> Gotta put the sack on the counter so I can look through these. Okay, so it ain't this one, because this one don't got no name on it. He say he wrote his name on the package, y'all. So we trying to look for a package with a name written on it. It ain't this one. Damn, I got a P.O. package from Ohio, y'all. That's hard. Ohio, where this one from? This one is from, I, I want to see what this one is because it's a box. I told y'all how I feel about the boxes. Every time I get something in a box, it be some crazy shit. They don't even say where this one came from. Alright, it ain't that neither. Let's see. This is one of the packages I was looking for. That's crazy. This shit came from New Orleans, y'all. Package from New Orleans. What else? I got this. It's another one I'm looking for. I ain't found it. I got this big ass package right here. Is this it? Nope. Where is this one from? This one from Texas. Shout out to the boys in Texas, man. It's like gang and them in Texas going crazy. Grand Perry, Texas. They pack as big as hell. Okay. I still haven't found the one with the name on it I'm looking for, y'all. I think this is it right here. Culture Studios. Yeah. This one came all the way from New York, man. Shout out to Culture Studios. I'm going to put that to the side. I think that was the package I was looking for, y'all. This one ain't got no name on it. See, this one say Dirty World. Hmm. That's not it. Where is this one from? This one from Canton. Where the hell Canton at, man? Might be. Okay. This one is from South Carolina. This ain't it neither. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Look at how tall. I'm talking about something. This is only. Yeah, if y'all watch my vlogs, y'all seen I went to my P.O. box two days ago. This is how many P.O. packages I got in less than two days, y'all. When I tell y'all every Friday when I go to my P.O. package, it be at least 10 to 20 packages every Friday. That shit is crazy, man. Like I said, I appreciate y'all, boys. Y'all don't understand, like, how big this is to me. Okay, we got another package. And this one... I think this might be one of the ones I was looking for, y'all. Give me one second. I got to check my phone and make sure we finna see. All right, so we found the packages that I need to do the promos for. I finally took them out the bag. We finna take this sack and go put it next to the other sack of clothes we got in my closet. And we will be unboxing these in the next two days, man. So y'all folks look forward to seeing the unboxing on live on the kick stream. I'm going to put the, the kick info right here so y'all know what time the kick is and y'all know... How to follow me on kick and all that stuff and for the people that missed the kick stream you could also go see the unboxing on youtube because i'll be recording the unboxing with my camera and posting it on kick youtube TikTok. it'll be on all of my platforms so if you're watching this right now and you're gonna be busy on christmas and you think you're gonna miss out on the unboxing you still got a chance to watch it no cap no kid but yeah man let's go ahead and take this sack and put it in 
Yeah, yeah, boys. This is no exaggeration, man. Every Friday when we go to the P.O. box, it's at least 10, 20 packages, man. We leave out with a trash bag every time. So I just want to let y'all know I'm, I'm hella appreciative. If you're watching this right now and you missed out on the P.O. unboxing, don't worry. Uh, you'll get to be a part of the next one. I think I'll start doing these like once every two months or something like that so I can help out people with clothing brands as well as giving me something to stream and stuff like that. But to anybody that's watching this, if y'all want to send something to my P.O. Box, my P.O. Box is in the description. To anybody that did send something to me, I love y'all folks. I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to show y'all how appreciative I am of y'all on the 25th, man. Y'all folks just tune in. And yeah, man, it's going to be a crazy journey. We about to head out, though. And go to uh, my dad's birthday. We're going to go bowling and stuff. Might do a little bit of drinking because I ain't drunk with my dad in a minute and stuff like that. And then I'm going to get to kick it with my brother. Y'all yeah, seen my brother in the last vlogs. A lot of people don't even know that I have siblings. I do have siblings. I got a younger brother, an older brother, and a younger sister. I don't put my family on my vlogs and stuff because even though I tell y'all a lot about my life, I still try to keep everybody else's life private and off of camera because, you know, that shit can get out of hand. But done with the yap session. Catch y'all folks at the bowling alley. All right, everybody. So we at bowling alley for my dad's birthday. I ain't ate nothing all day though. So first stop is the bowling alley kitchen. No okay, doubt, we got that boy league in the back. Show y'all my pop in a second. But I'm trying to figure out what I'm finna eat. Um, what would y'all eat if y'all came to the bowling alley? Let me know in the comment section. I'm finna figure this shit out. Though. All right, so we back into the video. Quick little update, y'all. I got me a double shot of Don Julio Reposado, and I got me an original icy. If you don't know what I mean by original, all the other ones be bullshit. This the one that used to be in the movie theater with the pan, not the panda, the polar bear. If you ain't got the one with the polar bear, it ain't the real icy. Say, we got we got my niece balling balling for me, y'all. Hold up. Huh? Hell no. I'm finna eat. See? That's why, that's why I say no. I'm finna go eat. <laughs> what I was gonna say? They trying to give me the bowl. I'm trying to eat, y'all. You for playing. How you doing? Thank you. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But yeah, y'all. Yeah. Everybody trying to get me the bowl. I, I just want to eat my little meal. I just got here. I just told these folks I ain't ate all day. Said, said when it comes when it comes to bowling or eating, I'ma eat. Oh, you're a big man. Eat nigga ass nachos. Man, that just get that just gave me some nigga nachos, y'all. Nah, cuz not the nigga nachos. <laughs> I'm so I'm so disappointed, oh bro. They gave me nigga nachos. They gave me nigga nachos with Casablanca. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Did they put whoa. On the or did just rent? Niggas be paying to rent bowl bowling shoes, bro. That's like renting athlete's foot. What the fuck? Hell nah. Them lemon pepper steppers, y'all. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. These nigga nachos was dog water. Quick little update, things went left at my dad's birthday party. Me and that boy Leek uh, drunk a double shot. Next thing, you, bro, get your ass from so close to my fucking car. Crazy, ain't it? Fuck wrong with your ass. Anyways, y'all, me and Leek took a double shot. Next thing you know, we went outside to go take a little smoke break in the car. We go back in the bowling alley. That bit empty. The whole family done left for us. Like, bro, bro. My little sister was there, my older brother was there, my niece was there, my brother's girlfriend, my dad, my dad's girlfriend. It was like 10 people there, y'all. We went outside for Jesus five minutes. Bro, we went outside for five minutes, go back in the crib. Niggas left us and ain't tell nobody. It's all good, though. We finna push up to the BNB, so I'll pick the camera up when we get there and show everybody in the BNB and show the festivities and stuff like that. But just stay tuned, man. Y'all, this nigga ass got a Corvette with Christmas lights on. What the fuck? Trying to leave. <laughs> you not getting nowhere, bro. I need to get next to you, bro. Please, bro. Don't go nowhere. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Get that nigga. Bro, get 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 back on this side, bro. I'm trying to get on your side so I can record you, bro. You're doing too much. This shit hard, y'all. I mean it's kinda ass because everybody in Atlanta did the Christmas shit this year. But it's slick hard though. Hold on. Let's get on the side of this nigga so we get a close up because he want to be a bitch. Like, bro, you was just driving like an asshole. I don't want to race you. I want to show niggas a car. Nigga, do you see what I'm in? I can't race you, bro. Just get your ass in the next lane so niggas can see what your car look like. You're a dick. Where is niggas a dweeb, y'all? Nigga, probably a consecrate. He probably going to see this bitch. I'm glad he probably going to see this bitch. 
I ain't gonna lie, putting fucking Christmas lights on your Corvette, you better be a goddamn content creator. I tell you what, he hawking ass around his sharp ass turn. I mean, I used to be doing that shit in the ZL1, but not that hard. Yeah, he's bro. trying to get away from us. Yeah, hit them brakes, nigga. Why? I didn't want to go down and record your car, bro. I ain't trying to shoot at you, bro. Because you see a Rudy Poo ass car on his ass. <laughs> on your ass, bro. You don't know. This Rudy Poo mobile lives over here, nigga. Mm -mm. Fuck wrong with any guy. We on your ass, but I just want to record your car, bro. Just go, bro. You pissing me off. Yeah, get out of here. It's on your ass. I'm gonna make you feel threatened since you don't wanna let me record this audio shit. Drive, nigga. Go, nigga. Finally! Stop! I got a good shot of it. I just wanna record this side of you! Stop! Finally, get that nigga ass. Bitch ass nigga. Lame ass nigga. Nobody trying to goddamn do nothing to you, nigga. I wanna record your car. You got your Instagram on the side of it. Obviously, you don't wanna be incognito, nigga. And you got fucking Christmas lights on that bitch. We cut the camera. This nigga lame as what fuck. The fuck? <laughs> you just came out my crib with a ski mask on talking about some. <laughs> I don't know you, nigga. What the fuck? This is why I'm moving. I don't know who was parking in parking space before me, but the pizza with the black and mild is crazy work. Whoever was parking this parking space is a goddamn junkie. Nigga eating Hunt Brothers gas station pizza and smoking black and mouths. What the fuck? Just did my <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We at the gas station. We finna get these photos in real quick. Cause I got a clothing brand. I gotta do a photo shoot for it. These is clothes. No cat, no kids, man. But y'all give me one second. We finna prop this camera up and get straight into it. Put me in that bit. Come on, Durba, you good? 22 months, I'm quick. Get in that bit, man. Said he fought with the hell going. Oh, yeah, I you on the camera, son. Nigga, I be vlogging this shit. It's on the one moment. Put me in that bit, man. Hold up. Vlog, man. Nine times out of ten, twin. I got the real with y'all, man. Hold up. Say, we got dirt ball on this bitch, y'all. Okay, cool. Hey, that shit funny as hell, twin. You said you went to Lansing be on the south side. I ain't never seen you on the south side until today. I'm on my moment, twin. I'm good. Shout out to VI here, though, y'all. No cap. He outside, y'all. I'm on my moment. Hey, look, man. Y'all go fuck with dirt by music, though, man. No cap, no kids. What the hell you do, twin? I just be vlogging and shit, twin. We finna head out though, y'all. We got now uh, finna chop it up. Y'all probably see dirt by another vlog. He man, talked to his no vibe, cap. man. He trying to get down. Y'all gonna y'all gonna see us put something together on my mom. No cap, man. Hey, look though. All I'm gonna say is, like I said, man. Y'all be watching these vlogs and shit. I tell y'all all the time, bro. Just keep your eyes open. Anything possible, you don't know who you gonna see, who you gonna yeah. meet. And you don't know who the fuck you is, for real. You don't know who know you and who don't know you. No cap, Shit, bro. same way I know Twin Twin said he know I me. Boy, you I don't be you know me. I don't know who I was, nigga. As soon as I see you, I'm like, I know who Twin is. I'm glad. And that Atlanta be smoking fuck. Yeah, nigga. I'm glad. Yeah, nigga. 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 Yeah, n
have been taking pictures and multiple uh, parking decks and going to different buildings to find places to take pictures. I'm done with my little mini photo shoot. The pictures will be uploaded tomorrow, so by the time y'all see these uh, videos, the pictures should already be out because I'm doing a double upload today. It is Sunday slash Christmas Eve, man. My gift to y'all from Casper is two uploads today. So if you watching this video and you ain't watched the other video, go watch that. And if you just watched the video and you just not watching this video, shout out to y'all because y'all keeping up because I ain't going to lie. I do be dropping pretty often, and they do be like 45 minutes to an hour long. I know that ain't the easiest shit to keep up with in the world, but we almost ready, man. We close to the 25th. It's almost time to get this vlog mission in action, man. The tree will be plugged up. All the lights will be in here flowing and stuff. We're going to have a pretty good stream. Everybody has been waiting for me to unbox their different P.O. packages, man. Y'all will finally be able to see me open them and all of that good stuff. And to the people who missed the stream, like I said, it will also be on my YouTube. So y'all can watch one of the next Dan the Life of Caspers. And the stream will be somewhere in one of these vlogs so y'all can see everything that I unboxed. And y'all won't miss out on none of the action. Y'all still be able to see the clothing brands. But that don't mean don't pull up for the stream. If you watching this right now, man, we're going to put the kick somewhere right here on the screen. Y'all yeah, pull up to the stream and support the Brody, man. We, we going big on big. It's my first ever kick stream. I plan on doing way more after this. We're going to see what happens. But it's late at night. Right now we got my little uh, handheld PC plugged up to the workstation. We actually trying to see if we could get my handheld PC to stream onto this monitor. So we're going to see if we can get it to work, y'all. It should work. I bought an adapter. It says that... If you plug it up with the HDMI into the monitor, it should let you stream on the monitor. So we, we're going to see what happens. I'll come back with an update in a second. Nah, y'all, this is hard, bro. We got the handheld PC streaming off of the monitor. Now, the real question is, can I use the PC while it's plugged up to the monitor, or do I have to? Oh, I can I thought I was going to have to go get an Xbox controller in order to use the PC on the monitor, y'all, but I don't. Ah, bro, I could dead ass turn the, turn the screen into an Xbox twin. Oh, my God. Then we got the 5M. This shit lit. You want to load up 5M? Nah, I ain't going to play 5M. Because I got to download GTA before I can play 5M. 5M is a separate application. 5M basically just jailbreaks GTA. So you could download 5M and not have GTA downloaded. And you won't be able to run 5M until you get GTA. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, that shit is crazy. It's a whole separate thing. So even though 5M is on this shit, I still have to fucking wait. Red be taking so long to find a nigga in the game. Okay, somebody's on. Let's go. Now I got a bigger screen to shoot y'all niggas on. Cause my my big my biggest thing is like the handheld is big as fuck, y'all. This shit is bigger than any PSP. And I would say that it's about the size of like a Nintendo Switch. But what I will tell you is, bro, I'm not used to playing on little screens because I don't have PSPs or Nintendo Switches. And I ain't played in Nintendo since I was like 13. So trying to shoot on that little screen be hard. So we're gonna see if it's a little bit easier on this big screen. And obviously you need a speaker because at that point the external audio does not work. Yeah, you need a speaker to plug into the thing. Mm-hmm. I have to buy one. See, I was going to buy one, but the ones that he has, I ain't want them bitches. The ones that was at um, Best Buy. Yeah. I ain't like them. I ain't buying that shit. Or the ones with some lights on it. So that shit is hard, though, setup. bro. Like, the fact that you could even do this is hard. Because I ain't going to cap, bro. You remember when we was getting ready to buy it? LeBro was like, I don't know. You don't know what the fuck you know, nigga. Because you ain't on one. Oh, God, nigga. This shit do everything Everything I was asking you when you said you don't know it could do, it could do. Because <laughs> I was finna buy the handheld while we was in Best Buy. Bro, talking about something. I don't know if you could stream it onto the, the PC or onto your TV. I was like, well, then ain't no point in buying no handheld PC if I can't use it like a regular PC, too. If that's the case, I'll just buy a regular PC. But then I get to looking at the videos for it and stuff, and I see different people playing it on their monitor. 
I'm like, bro, nah, bro, you don't know what you talking about. Oh, and it's smooth, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bruh, nah, y'all, this is it. Because at first when we was running it, it was a little bit laggy because the game had just crashed. But once I uh, closed the game and reopened it, I'm not going to lie, y'all. This shit running smooth as shit. Are those enemies or are those niggas on my team? Where they going to? Hold up, y'all. Oh, it's not an enemy. It's an enemy. Fuck. <laughs> I just got my ass whacked, child. I didn't know the enemies light That's up enemies, blue. y'all. Because now that I got a bigger screen, I could really rock out for real. I just got a goddamn... I didn't know the enemies light up blue, though. That, that was new to me. They didn't used to do that. Y'all are enemies. Where are the blue niggas, bro? Oh, oh! Somebody's shooting me. Fuck. Nigga, get out of there. Mm. Who the fuck was just shooting at me, bro? I just lost so much health, nigga. Oh, it's not even niggas shooting at me. I think I'm outside the zone. It's a zone on here? It's oh, it's probably like a... Uh, it's probably yeah, like a, it's like uh, playing Fortnite, Fortnite yeah. or like fucking uh, it's like Fortnite, Call of Duty. Yeah. Yeah, like, that shit different. Bro, where are the people, bro? All the extra shit going on. I'm trying to find somebody to shoot at. It say revive, but I know you just got killed. So who just killed you? Is it the zone? It gotta be. Bro's not a good team player. He's not reviving his man. <laughs> bro. Because who just killed you? Okay, I'm revived, bro. Oh, I did not mean to shoot. Hurry up, nigga. Come on. I ain't got time for this. <gasps> I don't know who. What the fuck? I still don't see nobody, bro. Oh, they're going. Hey! I'm going to just die. Oh, come on. Lee. He running. I'm chasing his ass down. Come here, nigga. Where you going? Fuck, nigga. Come here. My fucking aim is terrible. Oh, God, bro. Aim is shit. <laughs> nigga, on this little ass shit. Bro, he's up there. I got to go get him. Fuck it. You got to get that. Um, I'm coming up with the. Older. I'm coming up with the bullshit. Where you at? Where, where you at? That nigga ran. Oh, God, bro. What the fuck? If my aim wasn't shit, I could have killed this nigga. He's scary as fuck. He went in there. Turn Where? No. <sighs> Come on. And he killing people. He getting active. He yeah, just he scary. Just, he just smoked your... He smoked two oh! hands. Oh, shit. Where is this nigga? He's a fucking villain. Go, the, go through there. Go through there. Bro, he's a villain, bro. I'm scared, bro. Nah, stand on that business, bro. Bro, he's, bro he's murdering niggas, bro. Get back for your man. Oh, Give us that. How? How? How is it? He's trying to kill me with an axe. How is he running me down with an axe? How did he just run me down with an axe, nigga? He just killed three of my teammates with an axe. Man, fuck. Man, we got that boy Leak on the stage now, y'all. Let's see what the hell that boy Leak talking about. I really suck at first person shooting game. Bro, I just got killed Somebody by... Somebody just got killed. You, you can't suck worse than me. I just had an AK and got beat to death by a nigga with an axe, bro. You you gotta put you gotta put on for the team. And twin. this controller is kind of fat. That's what I'm telling you, twin. You got we gotta get the Xbox controller because the plan plan on the monitor with the handheld PC doesn't feel like normal. I'm not trying to get killed. Like it ain't it ain't extra uncomfortable, but just like when you usually playing on a PC, you used What's to using a keyboard or using a controller. <gasps> using that big ass <gasps> handheld as a controller ain't easy. Damn, it was, it was two day ass. That's crazy. Shit, yeah, at like least you got killed by a nigga with a gun. I had to lie, y'all. This this first person shooter hard as fuck. So we finna download a scary game or one of these Steam games that's a little bit more enjoyable and easy to play. Y'all give us one second. Y'all, me and that boy Elite just got just got technically savvy. Say, look, y'all, we got the uh damn mouse plugged up now, so now we can use the mouse on the portable Hold PC. On, bro. I feel like I could plug the thing up too. Though. What? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So right now we got the monitor and the mouse connected to the portable PC. Right. We trying to figure out how to connect the monitor, the mouse, and the keyboard. So then we could basically use the PC as a screen, but use the keyboard and the mouse how you normally would on a PC. You know what I'm saying? Right now the mouse is connected, but we still gotta type from the actual PC. I'm trying to get it where we could type without using a PC screen. All right, we is back into the vlog. It is the next day, man. We got uh, more clothing brand photos and stuff to take today. And uh, that boy Lee got to get a haircut because we doing a stream tomorrow, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Man, to anybody that's watching this video right now, if y'all ain't watched the second video uh, that I dropped today, y'all go watch the second upload because I have made two uploads today, y'all. And I want to tell everybody, 
happy holidays and happy uh what is this christmas eve because it ain't christmas yet so happy christmas eve to everybody watching this man y'all folks enjoy the holidays spend time with your family enjoy your gifts and remember to be grateful but what i was gonna tell everybody is uh I guess I'll catch up when we get to the barbershop and we get this man to line up because after we leave there, we're going to kind of plot the day out. We got to run all the equipment on the PC set up today to make sure everything's set up fine for the stream. Uh, we got to grab a couple of different things from the store for the festivities during the stream and stuff like that. And that's really about it. We finna see where the day takes us, though. Everybody just stay tuned and I'll get back to y'all in a second. Good look. Let me catch you on the vlogs, man. Shit, y'all ain't say they be watching my video, man. I tell y'all, we we getting global with this shit. This shit finna be big, man. This nigga. What the hell you be doing, twin? What you mean? Like in general, what you be doing? Making money, so I work right there and shit. Okay, that's cool. My first car right here. Nigga, what? Three forty five? GT. GT. It's still hard though, y'all. Oh God. Say the man got shit up. Say oh great, come twenty twenty four. Yeah. Tell them folks stay down for the come up, no caps, man. Okay, y'all. But yeah, y'all boys, we at the barbershop right now, kicking in shit. Uh, I'm finna get down smoke and just vibe to the man D done so he can cut my boy Lee care. And then we finna head out. But it should be funny, y'all. It seems like everywhere I go, y'all, like this shit only getting bigger and bigger. It seems like every time I step out the house, it's at least one person that noticed me and it just, you feel me? It keep getting more and more consistent. But like, I be telling y'all folks at the end of the day, bro, like that be the type of shit that I be striving for. Cause at one point in time, like, recognition was not there and mind y'all i don't do this shit for recognition but it'd be cool to be seeing like the hard work you putting in and shit is like really making an impact on other people's life to the point to where they even feel like they they have a reason to say something to you bro because niggas see celebrities all the time and won't say nothing to you you know what i'm saying if nigga actually feel like he should take time out his day to like acknowledge you or say something about what you got going on or congratulate you or give your accolades you know what i'm saying give your flowers and shit you gotta be doing something right. So, to anybody that's watching my content, bro, don't be discouraged. Keep doing what you wanna do and just be yourself, bro. That shit'll work out for you. I be telling y'all folks all the time, you spend a lot of time trying to be somebody else or do something that somebody else doing, but that's where you fucking up at, gang. You could perfect being yourself. You can got down, you could better yourself. You ain't never gonna be able to perfect being somebody else, bro. You your own person with your own God-given talent and you need to embrace that shit, you feel me? So, if y'all watching my vlogs right now, bro, like strive to be your own person and do your own shit. But niggas rolling up right now, kicking it. I mean, I don't need no haircut. Y'all seen I got one yesterday, but tune back in a second. We get ready to lead it, bit. Not only is Lil Bruh playing E40 in the slingshot, but why this nigga slingshot got gold rims, y'all? This nigga got five gold rims on the slingshot playing E40 on the middle of fucking wow, Riverdale Street. She said, she said, hold on, come back. Go ahead, twin. Come on, twin. Hey, look, y'all, you got to shot stuff out real quick, twin. Slice and dice, y'all see what the hell going on, man. This shit crispy, boy. Okay, cool. Yeah. Y'all seen D before, y'all know what's going on, man. Hey, look. It's on the one shot we pulling up to. So if y'all folks in Atlanta, y'all try and get a cut, y'all just heard with a con. Cash put y'all down, no cap, no kids. Go for that boy D, that boy D got that boy leaked together. Yeah. Smoke. Well, yeah, y'all. They're one of my childhood partners, man. Y'all folks gotta come to the barbershop. If y'all come, man, y'all come get your cut by D, man. No cap. All right. But yeah, man, we finna head out and go get some of the plot, uh, supplies we need for the stream tomorrow. And finna go home and try to edit this video and get it uploaded. But we got a couple more activities to complete before we do that. So y'all folks just stay tuned and enjoy the ride. Hey, glad. Got jittle tang on the flow, no cap, ski. That little nigga bad as shit. Yo, Casey. Casey. He ain't paying no attention. Damn, that's what we did forget to do, y'all. We bought everything we need to buy for the stream. All the equipment, fireplaces, all types of shit. We didn't get no fucking bar stools. Yes, you did. You got them. Oh, they just don't come. Don't come till after the stream. Well... We got bar stools. They just not, they just not here yet. They glad, but it don't matter, y'all. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see that shit anyways. All y'all gonna see behind me is the Christmas tree, and things of that nature. But yeah. All right, everybody. So next destination is the smoke shop and Target. I had to make a quick little pit stop by the crib so I could see what all we missing for the stream. I know I need an adapter because we established that in the last video. I definitely need an extra extension cord because we don't got enough ports. Uh, we gonna need snacks and stuff like that too. 
So, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all know how my refrigerator usually look. My refrigerator usually be having water on this shelf, juices on this shelf, Capri Suns in there, and it usually be hella shit in the refrigerator, but ain't nothing in this bitch but some ranch, some goddamn mustard, and some, some Caesar dressing. Ugh, lie. And then y'all see the refrigerator completely empty. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This shit do not look like a nigga house that got money. So with that being said, we finna go grocery shopping and get that shit together. We need to get all the drinks to fill the refrigerator up. It also looks like my snack pantry is very empty. We ain't got nothing but Velveeta shells, ramen noodles, pineapples, granola, and some fucking hot chocolate, y'all. That is the strangest combination of shit. So with that being said, I also need to go get uh, snacks for my snack shit. I also need fucking Tide Pods to wash my clothes, and I need dish pods. What else do I need? I need a lint roller, because I keep complaining about how my pants got lint on it, so we got to go get that. I'm trying to think of what else I'm missing, y'all. I think that's really about it. And then, hmm. My bad, y'all. I had to take a little quick glimpse around and see, like, what all... Uh, I don't have, so I know what I need to get. I definitely need to get a wick and some lighters for the stream tomorrow because I ran out of lighters in the house. I don't have no more of those. I need paper towels because I need stuff to wipe the counter down and clean up the house because the house got to be clean before we do a stream. I'm not doing a stream in a dirty house. And that's really all I could think of. I would say go by my P.O. box, but today is Sunday, so with that being said, the P.O. box is not open. <sighs> Sadly. But to anybody, like I said, that missed uh, the time frame for sending stuff to my P.O. box to be in the live stream unboxing, y'all got a chance to do it again uh, in February because I'm going to be doing a live stream unboxing every two months, y'all. So to anybody that sent something to my P.O. box that doesn't see it in the next video or the P.O. unboxing online, it will be in my next YouTube video as a regular unboxing. You get what I'm saying? But if y'all want to be a part of the big unboxings, man, y'all got to follow my Instagram and stay tuned so y'all can get all the updates on when I do my live streams and stuff. We got uh, Baby K with us right now, man. I'm over here got them uh, babysitting. Say what's going, Casey. Uh, goo goo ga ga. Whoa, why you grabbing the... This man just tried to palm the shit out of the camera, y'all. Nigga had tripping. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get everything situated. That boy Lee got them. finally got a haircut, y'all. Next stop, like I said, though, is the grocery store. So I will get to y'all folks one, well, not the grocery store. Next stop is the smoke shop, then the grocery store. So I see y'all at the smoke shop. All right, so we is back into the vlog. We in the car right now going to the smoke shop because we need to get wicks and all of that good stuff. If you don't know what a wick is, that's the little string y'all be seeing me wrap around my lighter. I be using that instead of burning my blunts and smoking my bong directly with the lighter. Because if you don't know, you smoking butane. So... Y'all boys go get you a wick, man. Then we're gonna get some different stuff for the uh the stream tomorrow so we could, you feel me, vibe out in the crib and have everything we need. We're not trying to be scrambling around looking for stuff. But I will get back to everybody when we inside the smoke shop. Alright, y'all boys. So we just pulled up the exhale city. We finna go inside. I'm gonna give y'all like a little quick little I don't know what you want to call it, a browse around the store for anybody that's never been to Smoke Shop before so y'all can see what type of stuff they got in here and what you can come in here and buy yourself, you feel me? But we're on the inside right now, so y'all give me one second. But yeah, y'all, say if you've never been to Smoke Shop, man, you feel me? It's very aesthetically pleasing. It, everything is very well organized. The lights in this bitch cool as hell. They got <laughs> So we leaving the smoke shop, man. We got everything we need. I got my lighters. We got the wicks and all of that stuff for the stream. We got to make one stop by the grocery store because we do got some stuff we got to get from the grocery store for the stream also. But I'm going to take y'all with me. They was kind of tripping about recording this time. The people that usually be in there wasn't there. Like last time I was in there, they let me record no problem. This time somebody, they in there talking about something. You can't record. The company doesn't allow it. I still record it anyways, but... Catch up with y'all when we get to the next destination. Back into the video, we just pulled up at Tarjay. Finna go in here and uh, get some of the stuff I'ma need for the stream tomorrow. 
And what else I need out of Tarjay? Oh yeah, I need a lint roller for my clothes. I got a couple of different little items I need to get out of here, so I'm probably make me a little shopping list on my phone before I go in here, but catch y'all. Catch y'all on the inside of Tarjay. No cap. The big red dot. Alright, so we finna go get some milk. A nigga need milk for hot cocoa and shit. What else I need? We need some snacks, cause we ain't got no snacks in that bitch B. We need an extension cord, I forgot about that. I need my goddamn lint rollers for my clothes and shit, cause that shit essential. I'm trying to think of what else a nigga needs. USB port. USB port. I need Clorox wipes. Nigga say, we got some shit to grab, man. No cap, no kids. E4 playing this old country ass music in the back. So we got Baby K inside the, uh, the cart today. But, Casey, say hello. The hanger is crazy work. Anyway, yeah, we got that boy Baby K though. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know anything about niggas on Christmas. All these motherfuckers go last minute shopping. Oh God. Okay, I ain't doing no last minute shopping though. We situated for Christmas. We in here for a whole different purpose. Ty boy, so we finna refrid. I said refridge. We finna restock my snack refrigerator for Christmas. So I'm finna grab all the essentials we need as far as juices, drinks, milk, and all of that shit. And we're gonna get the hell on. First things first though, y'all. I need some Yoohoo's. Second thing, second, we need Capri Suns. We 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 finna restock the fridge and the pantry with snacks, no cap. That right, boy, we got water, Capri Sun, Gatorade, chocolate milk, chips. We need to grab some more, some more snackables though, y'all. I ain't got no snacks. But when the hell they start selling wrap snacks by the box? The fuck type shit is this? The wrap snacks by the box is crazy business. Somebody done came in here and stole a bag of chips. I ain't gonna lie, y'all folks be pitiful as fuck, bro. Like now, mind you, when I was a little kid, I used to come in here and got now. You know, I might, I might steal a little snack, open up the bag, take a couple. Y'all niggas is busting open 40, 42 boxes, forty two. Bags of chips for one single bag, gang. Like, I'm not gonna lie, you a petty, you a petty ass thief. You could have just, you could have just stole one single bag of chips. Why the hell did you crack open a box of 42 chips to steal one bag? Yo, at trim, gang. Come on. Say we gotta get what extension cord. We gotta get the extension cord and the USB port, and then we out of here, y'all. It just crazy as hell, cause nigga, I ain't gonna cap. That shit got filled up quick as fuck. It was just empty when we first got in. Sheesh. Finally got that extension cord and this USB port. So the evening came through this bitch and raided this whole y'all. It ain't it ain't even no goddamn uh speakers in this motherfucker. Uh what the hell I need it for? I thought we need one with more ports. Yeah, they, there's more ports. Oh what you gonna plug it into the other? Yeah, you need port? more plugs, that's what I was saying. Alright, little whore. You also need a USB port though too, because you need more USB ports. Oh god. So I ain't gonna lie to y'all, boy, they ready to fuck out this shit. This shit empty as hell. So we got everything we need. Basket is fully loaded to the maximum. It's time to get D hell up out of here, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm ready for the stream tomorrow. Shit gonna be big on big. I hope y'all boys ready. Y'all meet me there. Matter of fact, beat me there. No cap. So we got this bit locked, locked and loaded, y'all. They say got all the essentials, you feel me? All the snackables, all the shit for the hot cocoa, you feel me? Whipped cream, all the drinks and shit. Now we got stuff to clean up the crib, because the crib do need to be clean before the stream. No cap, no kids. But but we ready, y'all. They say we ready to go, baby, okay? Case. Case. Yo, say we I'm ready. And we is in Target, Target, whatever you want to call it. My boy, my boy Jay called me. He say he say he want a picture, so yeah, we finna yeah, snap so up. Yeah, real TikTok. Shut yeah. yourself out on the vlog. Hey, my name, my name Nick. Okay. Instagram versatile V E R R S A T Y Y L E. Okay, cool. So we gonna go on here get these pictures in, though, y'all. I'm see y'all at the house. Appreciate it. Ain't gonna lie to y'all, boys. This is a holiday, man. I don't believe in that being stingy shit. Y'all know everything go full circle, and we going in 2024. So you want some chips, some? Yeah. yeah. Hold up, let me see where the hell I did with them chips, though. And they at the bottom. They at the bottom? Down there years at the bottom. Huh. I'm gonna just give you one of these. Mm. Yeah, handle one of them frames. Huh. Thank you. What's, What's up? Be safe, man. Happy holiday, man. Out. 
So I ain't gonna lie. Unk wanted me to go back inside to go uh, get him a gift card. I ain't gonna lie, Unk. I, I ain't finna walk. Say, say, I ain't finna walk back in Target and wait 30 minutes in line just to give you a gift card. And I didn't have no cash on me, so I couldn't give him no physical money. But I did just go grocery shopping. You want some free food? Like, like, say, say, if you turn down free food, I know something. You, you too picky. Say, I ain't gonna lie to him. Turning down the free food, bro, you too picky for me. If they turn down food, they don't want food. On God, you want the drug. <laughs> any any meal, I was gonna say, any meal a nigga try to hand me twin, let's go, let rock. Bro, where the hell the car at? I just said all the way around here. He said hell nah. Hey man, like I said earlier though, inside the last video y'all watch, man, I love when y'all folks walk up on me in public, bro. I tell y'all all the time, bro. I take pictures with people. I'm not Hollywood. I do talk to people. I try to be as interactive as I can because one thing about me is I believe, like, you feel me? We all human beings. We all got skin and bones and bleed the same blood. So for me to be acting like just because I got followers or money or any of that, like I'm better than anybody, bigger than anybody, that shit crazy works. So if y'all folks ever see me out in public, I'm as humble as ever, you feel me? I shake everybody's hand. I dap everybody up. I take pictures if y'all want to take pictures. I give people advice in real life, you feel me? And I'm going to keep doing that shit no matter what position I reach because I always remember where I came from and I remember that none of this shit would be possible and I wouldn't even have this platform or this position if it wasn't for the people that watch me and the people that support me. So that's why I tell y'all folks all the time, bro. Y'all ain't my fans. Y'all y'all my family. Y'all my supporters. Y'all ain't just people that watch me. Y'all people that grow with me, learn with me, and we learn from each other. So I tell y'all folks all the time how appreciative I am of having this platform and being able to talk to y'all every day and teach people new things and learn from y'all and y'all learn with me. And one thing about it is we only get bitter, bigger and better. And every day we learn something new. Every day we go through something new. And y'all watch it and experience life through my eyes and get to see things through my eyes until y'all can see things for yourself. So what I could tell you is if you're watching this right now, one day you'll be bigger than me, better than me. One day you might be working with me on the same level as me. But don't get discouraged. Don't get lazy. Don't get comfortable. And wake up every day and go hard like it's your last. There's no cap, no kids. But we finna head to the crib, man. We finna sit everything up put everything in motion and put all of these groceries and stuff away and then we finna jump into the next day in the life of Casper so with that being said it's the end of the video man if you're watching this right now and you ain't subscribed and it's your first time seeing me first time being on the channel go ahead and subscribe welcome to the family to the people that's already subscribed y'all know how I feel about y'all y'all know we only getting bigger we only getting better we only growing we on the road to 100K subs. We at 37K right now. By the time y'all see this video, we'll probably be at 38. And I just want to let y'all know, I'm appreciative. It's a long journey, and it's only going to get longer. The road is only going to get bigger. But what I can say is things are starting to change at an astronomical rate. And it's all due to the people that watch me. So I love y'all, folks. See y'all in the next day in the life of Casper. Y'all enjoy the holidays. And make sure y'all join the stream tomorrow at 9 o'clock. No cap, no kids. The details going to be on my Instagram. Deuces.